feel like Muhammad Ali. Down goes Frey. I'm the motherfucking greatest. I feel like Jordan in his prime. I feel like Magic Johnson, 1980 Lakers. I'm the motherfucking greatest. Damn, how long has it been since I did a Let's Talk series? I think like four or five months, something like that. Last episode I left off on was episode seven. This is gonna be episode eight. And you guys know what this is going to be about, because you, you guys are looking at the title of the video probably. Uh, Call of Duty 4 Remastered, guys. What can I say about Call of Duty 4 Remastered? I don't know. i got to think of something fast. i got only four minutes to do this commentary, guys. I really wanted to talk about Call of Duty 4 because, you know, it's coming out, coming out this year in November. Uh, it's going to be a bundle for $80 with Infinite Warfare. Uh, forget about the Infinite Warfare part. We're here to talk about Call of Duty 4 Remastered, man. You know, Call of Duty 4, it was one of my favorite all-time Call of Duty games. It was one of my favorite Call of Duty games of all time. Uh, the campaign, oh my god, campaign blew my mind. It was the best Call of Duty campaign out of the whole Call of Duty franchise, in my opinion. Alright guys, I know you guys probably think, oh, the multiplayer was the best and all that stuff. Uh, but when I, you guys gotta understand, when I started playing Call of Duty, I never played Call of Duty multiplayer. I started off playing the Call of Duty campaigns, you know, even Modern Warfare 2, which probably has the best multiplayer in the whole Call of Duty franchise was Modern Warfare 2, uh, not only in my opinion, but tons of other people say that as well. Uh, I didn't even start playing Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer until like maybe 40 times after I beat the campaign, you know, so, I mean, I've been playing Call of Duty campaign since since the first Call of Duty out there. Call of Duty 1, Call of Duty 2, Call of Duty Big Red 1, Call of Duty 3, COD 4. The campaign blew my mind. Had the best campaign, man. Especially when you beat it, you grab all the intels, you can do the cheats, man. There's this infinite ammo, uh, all that slow motion, and, and you can change the negativity, the, the, well, the contrast is a better word. And it, it was just amazing, you know? And then uh, I, I had fun playing the, the, the campaign in COD 4. All the missions were like, they were the best. You know, it, it makes you feel like you were actually in the mission, you know, doing the task that the soldiers are doing, you know, that the task force is doing. And then I started playing multiplayer and not until Modern Warfare 2, which I fell in love with the Call of Duty multiplayer. And now the multiplayer is just shit. It's gone down the drain. I mean, we all know that, right? But, you know, even though it is bad, you know, even though I do hate the recent Call of Duties, I'm still going to be getting them, you know, when they come out. I'm still going to be doing Advanced Warfare. Not Advanced Warfare, what the hell am I saying? That game was shit. I broke, that's the only game that I broke in half, you know that? Infinite Warfare, I will be posting videos of Infinite Warfare when it comes out, but I will be doing a Call of Duty 4 walkthrough for the campaign first before I move on to any multiplayer. Um, speaking of multiplayer for Call of Duty 4 Remastered, you know, Birdman did a video about this. It seems like they're only giving us half the game for half the price. Original Call of Duty is going to be costing, what, $60? Call of Duty 4 is going to be $30, including the $60 for Infinite Warfare, which is a total of $80. That's the bundle that's going to that's gonna be coming out. Call of Duty 4, $30. They're only putting in 10 maps in the multiplayer out of the 20 that were in the original Call of Duty 4. You know... I guess that's why they're saying that the half the game only, uh, the, and uh, they're not even the maps that everybody enjoyed because the maps that everybody enjoyed, they're most likely going to put that in a DLC. So, you know, Infinity Ward can make their money out of it. That's $25. Let's say about 100,000 people buy that thing. You know, I'm not going to even do the math right now. You guys can do it with your calculator, with your pens and pencils, whatever, papers. Uh, but, but yeah. Think about it. 100 people buy it, you know, the DLC, the maps that they like. 100,000 people buy it, you know, that, that Infinity War is going to be making money. They're always trying to find a way to make the money is basically what I'm trying to say. Uh, but, you know, the campaign is going to stay original. That's the only thing I care about. Like I said, once again, the multiplayer, I will do that right after I beat the campaign. Uh, I will be doing a campaign walkthrough on the YouTube channel, on the clan channel, as well as my Twitch stream. So follow me on Twitch, Mr. OG Dev, capital M, capital O, capital D. The video is about to come to an end, guys. Uh, and I'll catch you guys later.